Hi, and welcome to this presentation of a terrain mesh blending tool for Unity 3D. The tool allows you to seamlessly blend arbitrary meshes with the built-in Unity terrain, really allowing you to create an overgrown feel in your game. No longer will you need to cover ugly clipping with bushes or stones, just paint terrain over it with our artist-friendly in-editor painting tool. Getting started is simple. Drag your mesh object into the scene and add the terrain mesh blend component to it. Since we use the color channel in the mesh to store blending data, you will be prompted to save a copy of your mesh when you click the green Modify New Instance button. After doing this, you will be in Paint mode. In this mode, a brush will be visible as you move your mouse over the mesh, and left-clicking on the mesh will allow you to blend the terrain onto your mesh. In the Inspector, you are presented with a number of settings for the painting brush. All of these have tooltips. Move your mouse over them to view the descriptions. Changing the radius adjusts the size of the brush. The Max field adjusts the slider range. Strength changes the opacity of the brush. Texture Blend controls the texture blending between the terrain and the mesh. A value of 1 will render the terrain texture, while a value of 0 will render the mesh texture. The Normal Blend value controls the blending between the mesh normals and the terrain normals. Again, a value of 1 will render the object with the normals of the terrain under the mesh, while a value of 0 will render the object with the mesh normals. This allows you to create seamless transitions between your terrain and your mesh, regardless of lighting conditions. To the right of the blend values are checkboxes that allow you to disable or enable the painting of them. The Fill button will flood the mesh with the current settings, respecting the blend values and checkboxes. The Flip button will flip the blend values for both settings, allowing you to easily switch between blending terrain and mesh. To quickly be able to change values, there are convenient hotkeys available for each setting. For the slider settings, you can hold the hotkey while in the scene view and slide the mouse horizontally to adjust the values. Hotkeys are found in parentheses next to the button text. The terrain under a blended mesh can be painted with the changes being visible instantly. The most powerful variant of the shader will allow you to blend several of the terrain textures onto the same object. This is, of course, slightly more expensive to render. Duplicating an object with the terrain mesh blend component on it will share the mesh between the objects. Since the blend weights and terrain normals are saved in the mesh asset, this does not work well for non-flat terrain or vastly different rotations for objects. The Modify New Instance button will allow you to save a new instance of the mesh and paint it without affecting existing objects. Several variants of the terrain mesh blend shaders are available. Multiple terrain textures and single terrain texture shaders are available with and without bump maps. All our shader variants support both deferred and forward rendering paths. For terrain bump maps, you will need to add the terrain settings component to the terrain and drag the bump maps onto the appropriate slot, matching the terrain texture indices. Light mapping works, but will not blend very well, since the terrain and the blended objects are treated as separate meshes by beast, resulting in shadow outlines around them. Thank you for watching.